it's been one year since the new Just Dance came out. If you're not aware, Ubisoft has made a new Just Dance that will continue forever. I call the game Just Dance Forever, which is fitting because this one game will have multiple add-ons in the form of addition. Also, Just Dance 2023 edition and 2024 edition are not game. They are the add-on. I call the game Just Dance Forever, so I don't confuse myself in this review. I was going to do a video review for 2024 edition and a video review for the one year update. To make a long story short, I'm combining both. I'm not going to spend time talking about how to play. I did that in a previous video. Go watch that. However, I will be talking and sharing my opinion on stuff starting with. If you don't have either the 2023 or 2024 edition pack, you are offered a few free maps from the 2023 edition. And right now, a few from the 2024 edition because of an event celebrating the release of the new edition. As well as just that put map when Ubisoft start a new event or whenever the game wants to offer free content. Any new game mode and features will be added to the game itself, not to any edition. You don't need both editions. You can buy one and be fine. When you buy a music pack, you will get 40 plus pieces of music with 12 alternative death routines. You don't need to unlock alternative routines. Everything is given to you from the start. You will also get one month of Just Dance Plus. The game had more feature than mode. Calling workout mode and challenge mode game mode doesn't feel right to me, but that's my opinion. There is the normal Just Dance gameplay you can play alone or with people local or online. The challenge mode is basically world video challenge from Just Dance 2015 and 17 minus the video part. The goal is to beat the opponent's score by doing better. You can challenge anyone on your friend list or a random person on the leaderboard. The workout mode counts the number of routines you play, your time, and calories you burn. As someone who uses Just Dance to keep my body active, I'm glad to have this feature. But I don't know how accurate the calorie tracker is. I never trust the calories I'm burning in most games. I don't like how the time can't go over an hour and it goes back to zero when you play for over an hour. Playlist need no clarification. The only problem is you can't make your own. In previous games, Anyone can make a playlist, but now you rely on the Just Dance team to make more. What was wrong with giving players the option to make their own? For controller option, I recommend playing Just Dance Forever on Nintendo Switch because you have the option of using the Joy-Con or a phone. The only option for people on PlayStation and Xbox is the phone. I understand why there is no Kinect option because of compatibility issues with the newest Xbox series. And Just Dance Forever is not on Xbox One. But why no PlayStation Move or PlayStation Camera? Both are compatible with the PS5 and can be used in games that the Porto controllers 
by older Judd Dent games on PS4. There is a camera tracking option done by using a smartphone. However, at the time of making this video, this option is not out yet. And even if this option was available, number one, my phone would not be compatible. Number two, it only for 15 map. And number three, I would not care anyway. There is a plot for the game, but it's very basic. There is no dialogue, but it's easy to understand what is going on. In part one, Wonderlud invites Thera to come dance with him in the Just Dance world. They both come across the villain who is turning coaches into her minion. Our heroes meet other people and they join up to stop the Night Swan army. The heroes stop the evil army with a death off and celebrate with what else? A death party. In part 2, Night Swan wants her payback, starting by controlling Thera, making her evil. The group minded Jack tried to help Thera and stop the villain but failed, and they all become evil. What was Jack doing? I don't know, but he does get a warning from one of his friends before she turns evil. Part 3 is not out and won't be until the 2025 edition, but I get the plot for that one is that Jack gets a new group of people to help him fight against his former friend, turn them back to normal, and they all stop the villain. I'm not going to let every song and dance routine in the game. I'm doing some highlighting and an overview for both music lit. The music lit is good, but with some odd choices. It mostly favored music made recently, with pop being the most dominant. But throws in older pieces of music and other genres once in a while. Music is subjective and falls under opinion. Even if the music is good, the dance routine can be a different story. I can say that most of them are fun or okay. The only one I found to be bad are Scooby Doo and My Name It. Both of these are bad troll routine. Scooby Doo is not the word I've seen, but at least the map itself is not flat. But My Name It is just painful, unlike the other map. I know that it made for a young group, but they could have been more creative or done much better. Better than did. With Danger High Voltage, I love the arcade cabinet in the background that showed the 15 bit version of the thong. And I love how the routine breaks the fourth wall. As for the death routine itself, well, it's a death routine. With Million Dollar Baby, I think it's good that Ubisoft got Ava Math to do a choreo for the song, but the choreo, I'm not a fan of it. It feels boring or wooden. Walking on Sunshine is a good troll map idea, but I hate how there are no pictogram. I know the whole joke and all that, but I want to see the net dance move I have to do. There is one thing you should never do. Do not remove my pictogram. All the math from the story playlist are a dead out. Danger 15 bit version downright nailed a graphic. I know nothing about League of Legends, but I can see the love Ubisoft put into the map playground. Telephone is basically. A lot of Lady Gaga references from the theory. The amount of detail in it one map is crazy. 
I love the claymation in the map Rapper Delight. I wish it wasn't a cover. I love the continuation of claymation with the map Wouldn't It Be Night and Shine A Little Love using the same animal again. The animation for Wasabi is amazing. Here for me paper version is one of the most creative maps I have ever seen in the series. The map can't tame her had a just then community member doing the choreo and she did a wonderful job. The song taught that got a new map using the real art at this time. A just then community member helped with the creative part of the routine and appeared in the background. The routine from Just Dance 2 can be seen in the intro to the routine. The game adds Just Dance 2 routine as an extra and the cover music is replaced with the real version. You need to have your Ubisoft Connect account connected to the internet or an internet connection in the first place. This made me wonder what happened down the line with this game. Will I be able to play the game after the server shut down? I know that will be a long time from now, but I'm a person that likes to play a game at any time without worrying about anything. That is one of the many things I don't like about modern video games. My save data or my Ubisoft account sometimes have issues. What happened is that the game will say that there is an error. It resets my settings and act like this is my first time playing the game. My progression, record, and scores are okay, but it's annoying to have that keep happening. The amount of storage the game gives you to download routine is too low. I have both editions, so I have 104. Having only 40 download spaces is not enough. The rest have to be played using an internet connection. And you might be saying, what's wrong with that? That is why I have a problem. The idea of using an internet connection to play content for the game is not the best. Just then put it understandable, but not from the addition I buy. Give players a lot more free space to download more. I think it's nice to know that some of the coaches have names. But not everyone had a name, and it's not a big deal. I'm not losing sleep over not knowing the name of the coach and beep beep, I'm a sheep. However, in the map Danger High Voltage, the coaches have names, but in the map Mood, they are not named, and they are the same coaches. It's the same for a few other maps. The intro and outro are nice, but can we gift them in the future? Can't stop the feeling intro, it's almost a minute long. Why is Proud Mary in the Just Dance 3 area and not the 2 area? I talked about plot before and I'm not going over most of it again. I do have a more positive opinion, but let me talk about it. My two issues were the number of maps when it first launched and the motion detection in some of the routine. 
at the time of making this video, the plot survey had over 300 maps. The reason why I took issue with the launch number is because that was the same amount Unlimited had when it first launched back in 2015 with just then 2016. The pricing was an issue too. Both services cost the same, but one offered more map than the other. I know the team was going to add more to Plus, but still. As for when new map will be added, it's hard to say. Map can come from event and weekly updates. A new event will not happen until early 2024. What matters most with event are brand new map and map from previous titles. Outside of event were the weekly map being added. At one point, the Just Dead team was adding or porting map over weekly. The team posted on Twitter about pausing the weekly update on Just Dead Plus without a reason. I guess they took a break or worked on something else, which is fine and understandable. The team did add a good number of maps before the release of the new edition. Motion detection is hard to explain because it's a dance game. But regardless, things need to work correctly. I have talked about this issue in multiple videos. Some of the maps in Unlimited have issues with their motion detection. This will cause a player not to reach Megastar because of bad programming. And just then, sometimes questionable scoring and or point value does not help either. Starting from the top, routines like Bangarang and Raputin have perfect motion detection in Unlimited. The same perfect detection it in put. And as I always say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Routines like So Glamorous, Come On, and Drop the Mumbo have odd issues in Unlimited. I can get Mega on them if the motion and scoring doesn't mess me up too much. But in Plus, these problems have gone away, and Mega Star is much easier. Routines like Animals Extreme and Never Can Say Goodbye have some bad issues in Unlimited, and it is a pain to get Mega on them. No problem getting Mega in Plus. In fact, I got all perfect on Never Can Say Goodbye. Routines like Bad Romance and All About That Fate have I issued in Unlimited, and sadly, these issues are in Plus as well. I can get Mega on these with no problem, but these have little to no changes. And now we hit the bottom. The one at the bottom are routine that are a pain to get Megastar on them. And I wish it was a skill issue and not a programming one. Feel so right is a routine I have trouble trying to get Mega in Unlimited because of the motion detection. And Plus had the same issue. It feels like luck. If I get Mega on this routine with its odd detection. It been bull, I finally got Mega on, but it was a pain. The routine had bad detection in Unlimited, and this issue came over with no fitted. I still don't understand how I got Mega on it. Want to want me? I kid a girl and she got me dancing are the word. She got me dancing it awful in Unlimited and the curse is still here. But want to want me and I kid the girl are the word of the word. These two have odd detection in Unlimited and I can get mega if the game doesn't screw me over. But in Plus, they have gotten word. Forget trying to get Mega. I'm lucky to get five stars. 
it would be different if these were hard routine, but they are not. The motion detection in these routines make me feel like I'm being gaslighted into thinking I'm awful at the routine. If I fail, I want it to be because of a skill issue, not motion detection. Overall, what did I think about the game now? I think it's great, but it does need work. I hope the team will future-proof the game so it's not lost forever and a court fit issue. As for what I would want to see from the 2025 edition music pack, I don't care and not in a mean way. But I would love to see them do different decade or genre in the style of music pack instead of 2020th or 2027 edition, or make the different decade or genre the main focus of the edition. You know, maybe switch it up once in a while. I know the team does event with just that plug. They're not the same. Do I think the game is worth playing and buying a pack? Yet, one or both, but not at full price. I know I said not to get the physical copy before, but I have seen 2023 price under $20 in physical form, and 2024 can be a part of a buy two get one free deal or can become cheaper down the road compared to digital. These physical copies do not have a game in the case, only a code. Again, why have a case and there's no game in there? But the bigger question is, why is the character a furry now? What have y'all done?